to you this morning on today's health diet versus exercise. Both are miracle workers, but are they created equal? According to the June issue of Women's Health, one option may be better than the other depending on the health condition you're trying to improve. Dr. Carrie Peterson is a contributor to Women's Health and she's with us this morning. Carrie, good morning. Good morning, Amy. So let's talk about the health conditions that diet and exercise help improve. Obviously, I think the one that everyone probably expects is losing weight, but there are several others as well. What are they? Yeah, we looked at a few. We looked at diabetes, heart disease, energy, fatigue, and mood. And how did you determine in each case whether it was the diet or the exercise that improved that condition? Well, we did a few things. We looked at the medical literature. We were able to talk to some leading experts in the field. And in some cases, we just used some logic. All right, so let's start with losing weight. I would think you would need the help of both diet and exercise to make that happen. What did you find? You actually, you do need both, but the most direct route is through diet. Wow. And the reason is you have to burn 3,500 calories to lose one pound. So in a week, <laughs> you can either exercise burning 500 calories or eat 500 calories less a day. And that's a little bit easier to do because what some people tend to do when they exercise is they get hungrier and they eat a little more yeah. or they feel like they can reward themselves. So really cutting calories is the easier way. Yep, that makes absolute sense because I'm one of those people. All right, <laughs> let's also talk about energy boost. Is diet or exercise more effective? Exercise is definitely wow. more effective. You know, being tired and lacking energy is one of the most common things I see in my office. And really 20% of people in this country suffer from it. But 70 studies show that exercise is really effective in boosting your mood. Your brain releases all sorts of chemicals that uh, boosting your energy that do it naturally. Nor norepinephrine, dopamine, it's very, very How effective. How much exercise are we talking about to get those positive effects? What you need is about 30 minutes a day of moderate intensity exercise, which is where you're winded, but you can still carry so like on a walking, conversation. So fast walking would work? Really fast walking. Okay. Or you should do vigorous exercise 20 minutes a day for at least three days a week. All right, and here's a serious concern for all of us, the risk of heart disease. So which did you find was more important in this case, diet or exercise? In this case, it was actually a tie. Okay. Because exercise, as we know, really promotes cardiovascular health. When it comes to diet, the best thing that you can do is eat omega-3 fatty acids, which are found in oily fish like salmon. They can reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease by a whopping 64%. Just be careful, though. You don't want to eat fish that are too high in mercury, right. like swordfish or mackerel. Avoid are we, those. Are we talking about prevention of heart disease? What about people who may already have it? Does that help those people Yes, as it well? does. It's for both. Okay. All right. And let's talk about diabetes. Diet, I would think, would be the winner here because obviously that's so involved in mm -hmm. your blood sugar, but maybe I'm wrong. Actually, Amy, when it comes to preventing diabetes, exercise oh, okay. is the winner here. And the reason is that when you exercise, you are able to use insulin more effectively. And mm. insulin is what lowers your blood sugar. So it has a little bit of an edge, but once you get diabetes, then both are equally important. Okay, all right. And as far as preventing cancer goes, did you mm -hmm. find that diet or exercise, which one would be more important? This one is a tie as well, and really interesting information. Physical activity can actually ward off several types of cancer, including lung, uterine, and colon cancer. And in fact, with colon cancer, it's been found to prevent it in up to 40% of the time. Um, when it comes to diet, you want to have a diet that's rich in fruits and vegetables. You should get five servings a day. And these can also prevent certain types of cancer, like stomach, esophagus, and colon cancer. Wow. And what if you've already been diagnosed with cancer? What's the rule mm -hmm. there? Here, when you have already been diagnosed, exercise can actually improve your quality of life. It makes you feel better and improves your energy. And two studies have shown that exercise can actually improve survival for colon cancer. All right, and I'm really interested in this last one because we talked about boosting energy, but what about boosting your mood? Exercise yes. or diet, which one has the biggest impact? Exercise is the winner here. Okay. Just 20 minutes can boost your mood for the next 12 hours. And in fact, several studies have shown that exercise can be as effective as antidepressants. Really? Yes, for mild depression if you, use, if you exercise for up to four months. And it can even be more effective in preventing relapse. It, and yeah, they again, call it the runner's high. It's the endorphins yes, that you're releasing. That's, that's exactly right, Amy. You are releasing endorphins and norepinephrine, which really boost your mood. All right. I feel like running right now. Dr. Carrie Peterson, thanks so much. We you're appreciate welcome. the great information.